Hey everybody, and uh, yeah, welcome back. So, in this episode, I'm going to be talking to Kieran and doing uh, a mission with him and a bunch of other guys. And I might talk to Hosea, or depending on where I finish this one, go and see the good reverend and then make my way over to uh, Javier Escuela. But who knows? Let's see what this episode brings, shall we? Okay, where is he? Kieran. your gang. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Boy. Whoa, hold your horses there. It seems the uh, cat has got our friend here's tongue. I was thinking Mr. Williamson could have a word. You ready to talk, boy? I told you, mister. I told all of you. I don't know nothing, okay? They ain't no friends of mine. I just been ridden with them for a while. Horse! You see, we heard that part, so how about you tell the truth? That's what you want me to do. Hurt him, so the next time he opens his mouth, it is to tell us what is going on! Ah, who am I kidding? One of O'Driscoll's boys couldn't open his mouth, but he'd tell a lie. Screw it. Let's just have some fun. Geld here. Oh, yeah! What's he doing? Where's he going? Oh, don't worry. You're only balls, boy. Just gonna cause you trouble. You know, in Imperial Rome, Eunuchs was among the happiest and most loyal of courtiers. No, you kidding me, right? Of course. You sick bastard! So, what do you want from me? Well, you are gonna talk. The only question is now or after we got these little fellas off. Okay, okay, listen. I know where old Driscoll's holed up. And you're right. He don't like you any more than you like him. He's at six point cap. Oh, I'll take it here. Serious, I don't like him. I mean, I like him even less than I like you, no offense. None taken. Okay then, partner. Why don't you take a few of us up there right now? I got this, Dutch. Should be fun. All right, you. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Let's both hope you ain't trying to trick us, O'Driscoll. I ain't no O'Driscoll. Are you sure as shit was? John, Bill, come here. We got a social call needs making. Where are we heading? Uh, we're up into the hills behind Valentine. Uh, well, I'll show you. John, you take this little rattlesnake with you. Any nonsense, you kill him. Sure. You gotta pay your buddies our respects. Ah, poor Kieran. He goes through a lot in the beginning of this game. Come on. I'm taking you to him. Almost gets his knackers cut off. That's pretty much that's, that's worse enough actually. Almost getting gelded. Sharing saddle with an old Driscoll. Who'd have thought? How many times I gotta say? I ain't an old Driscoll. You sure look like one and you smell like one. God damn! You smell like one too. I smell like horse shit. That's right. Boy, are you high. Morgan, you got throwing knives in your saddlebag. Dud said that you might. I was asked to give them, and I'm doing you the further courtesy of telling you about it. Next time you want to give me something, how about you give it to me instead of hiding it somewhere? Hoping the opportunity comes up to mention it. Last goddamn favor I do. Hey. Hey. hey, if I got my bearings, it's over here. Yeah, I know this country. Take this track up through the rocks. How you holding up, John? Fine. Still ain't right, but I'm fine. You damn well should be after all that bed rest. Hey, all right. Abigail wouldn't let me up. You know her. She won't be reasoned with. Well, when you was having a failure of reason, hiding behind your woman, we were getting shot at. And I'd do the same for you. <laughs> hiding behind your you woman. Bad way. I hope so. But I fear you don't know how to help anyone. Except in yourself. See, 
rascal? If this is how he treats his friends, imagine what he does to his enemies. I got an inkling of what y'all do to your enemies when you put those gelding tongs to my parts. Bill, you still got those tongs? I got a knife. Won't be so clean, but it'll do the job. Keep that in your mind, young feller. Right at the forefront of them. I swear, I promise, I am taking you to comb as best as I can. You'll see, I'll make good. And now we just have a very long, silent ride. <coughs> uh... Okay. Um, I think this is this this mission does have like a stealth component, but I can never. Oh, what the? Okay. You all ain't that different from the old What did you just say? I've been watching you all these weeks, and you've been tied to a tree. You don't know nothing about this game. Yeah, well, I I'd say you don't know much about the old but maybe I know more about you than you know about them. And I know all about them, so... <laughs> Tell us then, how are we like those mongrel dogs? You're outlawed like them, you're out to survive like them, you live rough, you live hard, fighting the law, nature, you're out for yourself. See, this is why you're an O'Driscoll, O'Driscoll. You're out to survive, we're out to live, free. Combs a sneak thief and a killer. Dutch is... Dutch is more like a teacher. From where I've been, you just look the same as all. Then you looked, but you ain't seen. John, shut that boy up. Enough out of you. Boss, we're almost on. Now, who knows if this son of a bitch we got with us is talking true, but if it's what he says it is, and Colm O'Driscoll's here, we can end years of fighting, here and now. Amen to that. Here, here. I swear, this is where he was. Shut up. Okay, now, now cut left up here. We, we go down the hill into the forest. We're going in quiet, taking them out as we find it, trying not to set things off. But if we do, we move quick and hard. We settle this like we know how, okay? Okay by me. With you, Morgan. All right, then. Through the trees here. Hey, we're real close. I'd leave your horses the other side of this clearing. I'll get my guns off the horse, and I... Okay, guns, guns... Uh, cool. No, I don't want the bow. Yeah, there you Easy, Bill. Quiet. This is it. The cabin's just the other side of this hill. Okay. Off your horses. Let's go. You gonna get them knives? Nope, I, I don't want a bow. <laughs> Follow me, all right? It ain't far. We might have shared a horse, but we ain't friends. Remember, I'm watching you every moment. I ain't gonna shop you now, come on. It'd be suicide. You'll die, boy. But you'll lose your balls first. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there should be expansion to this. Some DLC where you just play as Kieran. Just have Bill looking at you. Always after your balls. There'll be a bunch of fellers hiding out there, too. Are these fellas armed? Armed? Drunk? Where are you, strangers? Yep. And Colm O'Driscoll? Oh, he'll be holed up in his cabin. Be passed out. Who's blind, likely as not? Hey, over there. Someone's coming. So, uh, who's gonna tell him we ain't got nothing for the pot? Oh, let me think. Tell her to spook the game, I reckon. 
I'm gonna drain it. I'll, I'll catch up. No, we ain't gonna fall for that. We're gonna wait so you can tell him yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If anyone's actually gonna shoot the messenger, it'd be that mean son of a bitch. <laughs> yes, sir. Come on, shake it off. What are we doing about the pisser, Morgan? One by the tree. I'm gonna deal with this first fella. A knife to the back of the head. And he fucks up. Or does he do it? He does it. Jesus. Okay. Now what? We're at the perimeter. Time to move on. You ready? Okay, let's search the cabin. That was a nice little shootout. Yeah, I do. I do like the gun mechanics in this. Like you can, you can like miss quite a bit if you fuck up. You all right? Sure. Thank you. No, I didn't. You did. Come on, Driscoll ain't here. He was here, I swear. I, 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 if I was setting you up, I, I wouldn't have saved your life. <laughs> it's a good point, Arthur. All right, then, go on. Get out of here. Hey? I won't kill you. I didn't set you up. You're lost. Shit, lost. I'm letting you run away. Now, go on. Get out of here. That's as good as killing me. Out there, without you, Como just was going to lose his mind about this. <laughs> so? So, so I'm, I'm one of you now. <sighs> Give me a break. All right, then. But I'm warning you. Oh, I, I know. Come on, let's get to camp. So you got the cash, then? What cash? Yeah, it's usually some cash. In the chimney. I'll check it. Rest of you boys, get to camp, quick. See, Arthur? Yeah, I ain't so bad. Hey, Bill. You tell Dutch old Karen ain't worth killing. Just yet. Right you are. Okay, take everything I can. Shotgun shells. Galore. Uh, what's this? Assorted biscuits.
take all the money clips. That'll come in handy for when I... Well, $72 isn't a lot, but it should uh, allow me to get something at the gun shop eventually. I think it's like 8D for the... Uh, it's called Schofield. I'm going to have to look up online how to get the Lamat revolver, though. I have no idea at the moment. I thought you'd just buy it from a gun shop, but apparently not. Uh, it could be you just maybe get it through a m certain mission or something. Yeah. $600, wow. Miles away from where I wanted to be. Uh, find out if they buy of the stolen bonds yet. Uh, why is there no like fast travel? God, this could do with some fast travel. Yep. All right. Well, I suppose that's rad. Yeah, the Hosea mission actually allows me to change the horse, too. So that's uh, something I might consider doing a bit earlier than I thought. I just go with the Shire horse, like one of the Shire horses. Now, if I'm going through Valentine, does that mean the Sheriff has got to come after me? If I go past the Sheriff's office? Or will I be able to sort of slip through undetected. Let's find out. Let's head on on. Let's head on on. Head on out. Will I make it? Yes. Okay, let's go and see Dutch. And then in the next episode, I'll go and see uh, the Reverend and Javier. Well, I might go and see the Reverend now in this episode, but it purely, <coughs> purely depends on uh, how long this this mission takes. Still? Not, Not yet. yet, but Jose is working on it. When we head west, soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope, I hope so. so. Trust, Trust Dutch, Dutch, Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> you have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Officer! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry. It's okay, son. Breathe. 
they nearly lynched me. They, they got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur, what? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No, I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. Okay, let's go for a good old fashioned piss up. I rode as fast as I could, didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Mike has got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for us. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just just some business to attend to, kid. You know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them Mike knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in, too. Then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. Happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast, too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of you. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. Nah, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about my... It was drank that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you. Me and a couple of the other boys got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. What's the matter, boy? I don't believe me. I mean, it was only like what one one really large person I beat the shit out of. It's fine. Yeah, red. Right. Let's uh, let's drink. Let's drink heavily, and consistently. Just one or two, right, Arthur? Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's. He'll be fine. Have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy I stuff, but Micah. A lot of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up? Be quiet, buddy. Oh, there, Duller. My lord. You men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the fool alone. People been leaving me alone. Listen, buddy. You're a charming fellow. One of the best. But me and the kid here, we're trying to talk business. So could you possibly leave us alone? No offense intended. Ain't no pleasing some folk. No, there ain't. Just trying to be friendly. Oh, Arthur Morgan, you charmer. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. Lenny, Lenny, where are you? 
Lenny. You know, I've 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 been drunk. I'll say it, but uh, I've never been so drunk that the room spins. Although I have been drunk enough that I've passed out, so uh, maybe I just skip the whole spinning room stage. Lenny! Ah, oh, there he is. What is she doing? Oh, right, that's a makeup thing. I did not see the makeup uh, pouch thing. That looked very weird. Am I in Death Stranding? No, wait. Never mind. My god, he must have drunk a lot. It actually took me a while, the first time I played this, to realise that, uh, everyone looked like Lenny. Where was it? Yeah, I think it was the, at this point I realised. I was like, wait, what? What? There you are, Lenny. Do I look like a Lenny to you? Yeah. You <laughs> will not take me alive. This is very, like, GTA-esque, I feel. Where did all these law guys come from? This town barely has any law enforcement until I get drunk, and then they all come out of the woodwork. There's, like, nine or ten sheriff's deputies there. Yet I steal a horse, and there's, like, maybe three tops. Now, Red, 
There he is, good old Arthur Morgan, all hung over, probably without his horse. Son of a bitch. Not again. <laughs> ah, cool. I think the Reverend is up here. So let's go and see uh, Reverend Swanson. you talking about? I took your advice, sir. I have removed myself from Morpheus's embrace. No more shall I sink, sir. I am free. I am free. You don't seem free, friend. You seem drunk. Sit down, Reverend. We ain't finished. You ain't finished. Look at him, he's finished. None of us force liquor down his throat, friend. I just want him to play. Now, firstly, we ain't friends. Don't make no mistake on that subject. Secondly, he can't hardly see, let alone reason. Now, reasoning ain't never been one of my strong points, neither, but see, and I do just fine. You want to step outside or deal with business here? I just want him to finish the game! Why can't we all just get along? These are good men, Arthur. They're children of God. They are children of God. Oh. How's about you playing this place? Huh? That seems fair. Fair? Sure. You want a game? Um, no, not really. I can't, partner. I don't mean to spoil your fun. I got things to do. <coughs> you sure? Quite sure. I gotta get him out of here. Come on, Reverend, let's get you home. Where'd he go? I don't know. I was talking to you. <sighs> Gentlemen. Yeah, that's basically just a little tutorial on how to play poker anyway. So I can't say I'm you know, missing a lot. You guys seen a drunk besides myself? Excuse me, I'm sorry. You, you see a drunken idiot, priest, wandering about? Sure, we saw him, smelt him, and avoided him. <laughs> he went that way, I think. Thanks. Guy looked kind of crazy, mister. Well, you have no idea. Come on, don't get tired now. Come on, Arthur. Oh, Arthur, what are you doing? Okay, uh, in my defense... Get off the damn tracks. Okay, yeah, in my defense about that, I did want to only shoot him in the leg and I forgot that um, the cursor sort of tags any part of the body I sort of go over yeah. my mistake 
Okay, come on, Reverend. It's just a simple mistake. You can still be safe. Okay, let me, uh... Oh god, oh god. Get you home. Home. Yeah. That's a wonderful idea. I could have tea with Margaret. Margaret? Who's Margaret? But. Okay. What an interesting fella. So yeah, he kind of just fits in with the rest of the gang, really. Because everyone else is... Well, everyone's pretty much a raging alcoholic. In the Vandalin gang. So did Lenny get arrested? <laughs> I'm not too sure about that. Last time I saw him, he was getting uh, grabbed by a couple of sheriff's deputies. So yeah, chances are he's in uh, he's in a jail cell. him off somewhere and then I'll call it a day. Mr. Morgan. I'll keep an eye on him. He was lucky this time. Real lucky. Alright, so I am going to call this one a day, I think. Hope you've all enjoyed the episode, hope you've all enjoyed the commentary, and I hope you are all enjoying the walkthrough so far. So, for this one, if you could leave a like and a comment, and if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, if you haven't done so already as well, uh, hit that notification bell icon below the video. Um, in that'll basically allow you to keep up to date with all the episodes I release almost daily on my channel. For now though, that's pretty much it. So until the next time, you look after yourself, you have a great day, and that's pretty much it. See you later. <laughs>